This is what I found when I removed my mower deck from my Murray riding lawnmower, and it scared me. The rust holes had gotten so big that it started to crack the mower deck on one side, almost halfway on that side. And it had started to do the same on the other side of the mower deck. So I took it to a welder and he didn't think this could be saved and it was better to get another one, but I could not find another mower deck. So I decided to fix it. I took the mower deck outside, put plastic bags over the spindles and power washed the bottom of the mower deck. And I also washed, power washed the top of the mower deck to see clearly how much damage I had to deal with. So what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be using a fiberglass repair kit to put uh, over these holes from underneath the mower. And then lastly, I'm gonna be using a Bondo filler on the top. And at least it should hold it temporarily until I can solve my problem with this mower deck and find another one. I'm using a wire wheel here to remove all the rust. And then I also used 80 brick sandpaper to remove the rest of the rust by hand. It took me hours. Then I cleaned all the rust and all the dust off of it and sprayed it with the Rust-Oleum Rust Reformer. And this is what it looks like on the bottom. Now, you need to use something else on top of this reformer because I found out that it's water soluble. And this is what it looks like on the top after I also sprayed it there. Next, I'm gonna be using this fiberglass repair kit and it comes with the resin the hardener, a matte fiberglass cloth, and the rest I had to supply myself. Now, if you're gonna order this online, I don't recommend it because this is the number one complaint. The resin came with a cap halfway open and it was spilling all over inside the box. And it stunk up the house. So if you're gonna buy this, I recommend you buy it off the shelf. It also came with a matte fiberglass and I prefer this one because it's thicker. And I'll be covering the holes all around the perimeter where the rust ate through it. And what I did here was I cut patches and I cut them in twos to reinforce it twice. Now, I did not film how to mix the resin or apply it because it was drying so quickly that I messed up that area there. It turned into clumps. And here in Florida, the weather was over 90 degrees and it was drying too fast. So when I finished there and it was dried, I went ahead and I roughed it up with 100 grit sandpaper not to bring down the resin, but to just rough it up to get it ready for more spraying. Clean it up. Spray some more of the reformer and also use the undercoating. Remember, you got to put something over that reformer because it's water soluble. This should protect it. And after spraying it, this is what it looks like. You can see some of the clumps on that side, but that's fine. Nobody can see that. I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the top. I'm gonna rough up those areas where the fiberglass is showing, just enough to rough it up, not to bring it down and sanding it to death. And then I'm gonna use this Bondo body filler And it comes with the little dish that you see there and a cream hardener. So 
first you're going to rough up that area and this is a hundred grit sandpaper that's the only thing i had at the house right now besides the 80 grit and just to have to rough it up then you clean it up take all that dust out of there and you're going to spray it again with a reformer in that area then you're going to get your bondo if that's how it's pronounced and you're going to soften that cream inside now i used a piece of cardboard that had a plastic coat over it so it helped you need to use something that is non-porous and i eyeballed it and just put out what i thought i would need now i've never done this before so uh, this will be my first time doing this now the instructions are pretty clear it's not hard um it says that you can put if you have this no matter what diameter you 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 take out out of there you put in there you need to make sure that it's half an inch in thickness and then you put the hardener over it in a straight line across the diameter of that filler and if you have that half an inch thickness and do this you'll be able to get a good mix in there now make sure that you don't mix this uh, you know by twisting it and, and building bubbles on it you got to flatten it out and continue to just press it down while you're mixing it apply it to your mower deck as best as you can i was using a little more with the thought that it was probably going to give a little more strength to the areas where it was really badly rusted sand it down this is an 80 grit sandpaper clean it up And then spray some more of that rust reformer. And lastly, paint it. And this is what it looks like after you sprayed it with the reformer and the paint. Now I have some high spots there and several areas there would does not look very smooth but i ran out of 80 grit paper and it was hard doing it with just the 100 grit paper that i had and this is about it thank you for watching